Hello guys, this is Peter from Bell of Boeing. Today I would like to show you my pedestal. I have made a full pedestal, as you can see here. That's the complete pedestal. And I've built it into a crate or box, call it what you want. And this is made out of five milli might be able to hear it. Five millimeter MDF. That's our uh, um, sanded so that the joints here are more or less not visible. Painted, this is the same piece of um, of wood, just painted a, in two different colors using a piece of uh, paint tape, I think it's called, so that it looks like the real thing. The panel is from a Belgian company called ProSim Parts. Um, I'm very happy with this. It's um, it's an okay quality, and let me show you what we have here is communication radio, navigation one. Over here is navigation two, and down here ADF radio one, and the transponder. These two right now uh, does work, but just need to be connected to the display card. So it's just a matter of I'm missing a cable. Okay, um, and as you can see here. The difference between these two, I have installed sun film. Um, it's a piece of, of thin plastic or that goes on windows in offices to um, reflect the sun. I've installed those in front of my seven segment display so you're not able to see them. On these uh, videos um, the reflection from the light above is quite heavy but you might be able to see up here when there's the reflection you are actually able to see it very clearly and it's much worse on video than it is in real life. Rest of the pedestal here is dummies. I've installed buttons that can be turned for fun. Um, and over here as well. These also are... You can push these, but they have no function. And the same goes down here. Dummies as well. It's interfaced underneath here with a um, open cockpit master card and three display cards, and uh, that gives me gives me the opportunity later on to interface other parts of the panel, such as um, the, co the cargo fire warning. It's all connected to ProSim parts. Uh, sorry, to uh, ProSim, uh, and of course SIOC. Let me show you um, these panels. I have single encoders, um, CTS-288 they're called, and that may gave me a small problem because I'm only able to, to turn either the integer or the decimal, so I had to, to make that choice. But a Polygon guy called Gert, he helped me, so um, how it's coded now is that when I turn, you can see one of the numbers turn, but if I push and turn the encoder, I've changed the decimal. And there we go. Right. So I'm very glad with this. You can just I'll just zoom out and you can see the whole cockpit as it is right now. Just get the um, picture up. And there's the airplane and here's the cockpit. It's beginning to look like something. Um, I'll go into details on the last parts later. This is Peter from Billabang. Take care.